This is Real News Media TV, coverage you can trust. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates. Trial of man accused of killing Lindvall Bloomfield again postponed. The long-awaited murder trial of the man accused of killing the former Portland Eastern Member of Parliament, Dr. Lindvall Bloomfield, was this morning further postponed to October 31 in the Home Circuit Court. When the matter was called up, the prosecution informed the court that its main witness was off the island. Hence, a new trial date was scheduled and a bill was extended for Simeon Sutherland. The Buff Bay Portland resident was arrested and charged with murder and a misprison of felony in connection with the stabbing death of the politician on February 2, 2019. He was arrested in 2019 by investigators from the Major Investigation Division after forensic evidence reportedly linked him to the scene of the crime. Bloomfield was found with multiple stab wounds by an employee at his home in the parish on the morning of the fatal attack. Two knives that were recovered at the politician's house, along with a vest that was found in bushes near the premises, were said to be vital evidence in the case and were sent for forensic testing. Sutherland had reportedly admitted to being with Bloomfield several hours prior to the politician's nude body being discovered with stab wounds, but denied knowing anything about the killing. Attorney at law Peter Champagne QC is representing the defendant. Judge shocked after convict gets the job as orderly. A judge who convicted a man for a robbery some years ago was left surprised when he appeared recently in the chambers of the Supreme Court to be the judge's orderly. When the man came into the judge's chambers, the judge was shocked to see him and it is reported that the judge uttered, but I know you. There was no response from the man in regards to the judge's remark. The man was accused of committing a robbery and was found guilty by the very judge who he was assigned to assist as an orderly. The matter was reported to court officials and the orderly was transferred to the library. Following further investigations, the orderly was dismissed from the job. It is very frightening and embarrassing for all of us who work in the justice system that such an incident took place because the criminal record for an employee must be produced before the hiring takes place, a senior member of staff told the news. This is a breach of protection for us as judges and a breach of security for the court, a judge remarked about the incident. Supreme Court and the Court of Appeal judges are each assigned a police personnel referred to as a close protection officer. A decision was taken from some time ago that the duties of those cops are solely to be bodyguards and that they should offer no other assistance to the judges. Civilians were then employed as orderlies to assist the judges in carrying out their duties. I do hope that this incident will never happen again because those who are in the position of hiring must ensure that all the relevant background checks, including criminal records, are done before someone is employed, the senior member of staff added. Several people injured in three-vehicle Lilliput crash Several people have been rushed to a hospital following a crash along the North Coast Highway in Lilliput, St. James. The three-vehicle crash has caused significant traffic delays for motorists. Emergency personnel have been deployed to the scene. Prime Minister hints at possible importation of skilled workers due to local shortage. Prime Minister Andrew Holness has hinted at the possibility of importing labor to satisfy demand if enough trained workers are not available locally. We have placed the heart on alert that we are going to have to find these people, put them in a streamlined mechanism to get them trained and provide them very quickly. If we don't do that, then there can be no complaint if we have to import labor into the country. And we are seeing an increase in requests for labor, particularly skilled labor in the country, the Prime Minister stated. He was speaking at the official groundbreaking ceremony for the construction of a 700-room hotel by Rio in Trelawney on Wednesday. Now put yourself in my shoe. I want the development. How am I going to get it done? Added wholeness. Well, I am going to train the workers. That takes time. But in the interim, I can't stop the developments. Four killed in fatal crashes over Easter weekend. 
Four people were killed in four fatal crashes over the Easter weekend, pushing road fatalities since the start of the year to 133. This represents a decline in fatalities over the holiday weekend, which often sees an increase in road crashes and the fatalities. In 2019, just before the COVID-19 pandemic forced the country into lockdown, eight people lost their lives in crashes over the four-day weekend. This was a decline from the 10 recorded in 2017, which was one of the highest recorded in two decades. With road fatalities and the fatal crashes increasing by 5% and 1% respectively, when compared with a similar period in 2021, the director of the Road Safety Unit continues to renew calls for road users to exercise caution on the nation's roads. Of the road fatalities recorded thus far, 112 were males and 21 were females. Pedestrians account for 24% of the road users killed since the start of the year, while private motor vehicle drivers account for 23% of the road users killed. Motorcyclists account for 26%. Meanwhile, vulnerable road users such as pedestrians, pedal cyclists, motorcyclists, and pillion passengers account for 58% of the road users killed since the start of the year. Passengers account for 18%. The parishes which accounted for the majority of the road users killed since the start of the year are St. Catherine 18%, St. Andrew 13%, and St. Anne 11%. Search continues for Grandma washed away in Mobe. The search continues today for 68-year-old Beryl Walters, who was swept away by floodwaters on Tuesday that claimed the life of her 12-year-old granddaughter Janelle Walters. Janelle's body was recovered Tuesday evening, about a mile and a half from where she and her grandmother were washed away by raging floodwaters during torrential rain. The search will likely include a still partially submerged Toyota Sosid motor car in which four people were traveling. Barry's Walters, the missing woman's husband, and his 25-year-old daughter, Shannon Walters, were rescued by men who fixed tires and an employee of a garden supplies store. One heavy water come down and spin it round, and the man them did see water go on and come hill. One big unit did stop over the side, and then me come and me stop and him drive way and move way. After him drive where heavy water come and lick the car and spin it round, Walters said on Tuesday as he relived the ordeal while awaiting news of his missing wife. His daughter, 25-year-old Shannon, told the news that she clung to a tree limb for dear life after the car was swept away. It got down into the current and then it turned over. We did wind down the window then because we did see the man them a come fit take we out. Because we did a call them and them did have rope. By the time them come down towards we, at this of the car going at the current and start washway, she said. Student attendance affected by work on Southern Coastal Highway. Concern is being raised that work on the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project is affecting student attendance at Happy Grove High School as well as Fair Prospect High School in Portland. Colin Bell, a PNP counselor candidate for the Fellowship Division, in the Rio Grande Valley, says some transport operators have withdrawn their services due to the poor condition of the road. While other transport operators continue to ply the route, Mr. Bell noted that those who used to make four trips a day can only now do two, resulting in students having difficulty getting transportation. One of the major problems is that due to the condition of the road, a lot of transportation operators have removed their vehicles. And those who have not removed their vehicles, who used to do like four trips a day, can only now do two, one in the morning and one in the evening because it's really tiring. So when the children leave school, some of them get home like midnight. And when that happens, they can't go to school the next morning. I had spoken to the principal of Happy Grove High School and she explained to me that sometime up to 8 o'clock in the night, she's at flat grass with students trying to get vehicle for them to get to Port Antonio. Happy Grove High School, they do have a bus, but the bus can't do any more than what it is doing. And one of my concerns is that that bus not going to serve them a long time because of the amount of children it have to be carrying so as to ease some of the problems that we're having. So we're really calling on the powers that need to assist these schools, fear prospect to a lesser extent because they are not as far as Happy Grove. Sometimes the students have to start walking in the night. And when they reach part of the road, motorists will assist them. DPP pleased with the resumption of jury trials. 
Director of Public Prosecutions Paula Llewellyn has expressed the pleasure at the news that jury trials have resumed in the circuit court. Jury trials were suspended in March 2020 when Jamaica recorded its first case of COVID-19. Today's resumption follows the reduction in the country's COVID-19 infection rate and the revocation of measures under the Disaster Risk Management Act. Ms. Llewellyn told the news that most persons prefer jury trials, saying there's something special about appearing before a jury when you are an advocate as opposed to a judge alone. She said this is particularly true when the case involves complex issues of credibility. Furthermore, she said the majority of accused persons prefer to be tried by a jury of their peers. Some defense attorneys who are opposed to bench trials have argued that judges are prone to being biased in favor of the prosecution. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Select all for daily news updates.